Assalamu alaikum and very good morning grade 6 today we will completely do chapter number 10 question answers and worksheets in just one lecture so are you ready to do reflection mirrors and everything light light moves in straight line it is made up of many colors okay so the answers are here you i you can pause the video you can write the answers but here first we will discuss transparent opaque and translucent objects okay uh, transparent are the objects that are glass mirror or the things that can easily lie, allow light to pass through them opaque never allow light to pass through them and translucent can partially allow light to pass you can through. pause the video and write the answers or revise the answer question number four answer is certain deep sea fish and some insects are luminous here in this picture glow worms are also shown fireflies also shown they are luminous either to attract a mate or if they are predators so track their prey okay that's why they are luminous question number five answer is very easy for you i think you can answer them uh, easily uh, question number six is also very easy question number seven a reflection is caused when light changes direction after it has hit a surface i've shown a diagram of reflection as well uh, light is like just like a ping pong ball it is striking a surface and coming back that's why they are uh, they are reflecting diamonds are very uh, shiny because they reflect they scatter the light in many directions that's why they look like they are luminous now question number 7 11 is the images in the vehicle's plane mirror will be the same size as the object it is reflecting but they will be literally inverted the convex mirror will give a wider field of view than a plane mirror i have told you earlier that reflection occurs light travels in straight line and the incident ray when it strikes a plane mirror it is inverted back it forms an image it forms an image on the plane mirror like this girl is sitting in front of a mirror she can see her due to her reflection due to reflection of light the image that is formed on the plane mirror is virtual image exactly the size of the girl okay it appears just like her okay but when we are passing a light when the light is passing through when a light is pass, uh, reflecting to many angles then that type of images are called multiple images that are formed in kaleidoscope uh, might be you have formed uh, kaleidoscope you, you would have made kaleidoscope in your class project uh, they they show the images like this because they have many beads or other particles which reflections are giving multiple images and they look very beautiful when they are looked in see it's an image seen from a kaleidoscope okay now i was discussing about curved mirrors this is a concave mirror okay concave mirror is a mirror that gives us a magnified image of an object but on the other hand if you see a convex mirror it gives a big a bigger object image it makes a big object a smaller one so from convex mirror in the supermarket you can see many people you can see the image of many people in just one mirror okay see the comparison again if a dentition is there he is mostly using concave mirror because concave mirror makes the small object mirror object image bigger the image from concave mirror is bigger than the object and the image from convex mirror is smaller than the object right we have studied that there is a microscope microscope also uses mirrors 
and we can see small objects through microscopes. Here we have studied telescopes as well. We can see distant objects easily by telescopes. They are also using the lenses. The mirror. Uh, okay, now here is the world's largest telescope shown on page number 123 and it's on the island of La Palma, a large concave mirror to collect the light from the distant stars. Whatever we are getting, the images of the galaxy and other things are getting, we are getting from these type of telescopes. Diffuse reflection is the reflection when the surface, when the light is striking through a surface that has uh, these type of uh, edges and the rays are disturbing in rays are striking back in different angles that type of reflection is called diffuse reflection mostly when the uh, sunset is there it we can observe them picture will be giving you the clear picture of what convex mirror do and uh, here the intelligent driver has put on concave mirror uh, on the convex mirror okay the answer of question number 14 is uses of plane mirror include mirrors of dressing periscope and kaleidoscope uses of concave mirror include shaving and makeup mirrors dances mirror car headlights and others question number 15 is a regular reflection is like that produced by a plane mirror in that all the light is reflected in one direction and when the light hits the surface an uneven surface some of the light is absorbed but rest of the light is scattered that is why the reflection is diffuse reflection question number 16 answers the image formed in a plane mirror is virtual and appears to be behind the mirror it is the same size just like the object you can pause this video you can write the answer you can revise all the answers as well because uh, or on the whole it is just a review okay keep practicing hard because it is your final assessment now question number now we will do this we will solve the worksheets MCQ is which of the following object will not make a dark shadow the answer is very clear it's a glass jar because all the light will be passed through it the type of re reflection produced by a plane mirror is called a regular reflection which of the following statement about the images produced in a plane mirror is not true they are smaller than the object you know that that's why exact like your face you can see your face easily on the mirror fourth one is a periscope contains two plane mirrors they are exactly making a right angle 45 degree angle so that rays of light can be reflected in the straight line and the sailor in the ship in the sorry in the submarine can easily see if whatever is happening on the surface of the sea question number five is an eye looks the image of the burning candle uh, down in the camera and up on the retina question number six is which of the following instrument devices does not contain a mirror it's a reflecting telescope which of the following statement is true in a pinhole camera only a small hole gives a sharp image okay number two is very easy you have to do true false and all the answers are written pause this video and write your answers or revise your answers question number three is match the scientific word to its definition i have solved it for you translucent describes a material that allows some light to pass through it transparent describes a material that allows light to pass through it opaque that doesn't allow light to pass through it reflection light rays that bounce off a surface virtual an image that cannot be focused on a screen luminous that gives off light incident the ray that strikes on the surface pause this video and write the answers question number four is we have to fill up so i have solved it here for you light is a form of energy it is needed for us 
to see things and for plants to make their food most of our light energy comes directly from sun other natural sources of energy are stars lightning and fire animals such as firefly glow bombs also give off light result of chemical reaction that are occurring in the body is light energy is due to burning of fuels in electricity a appliances question number five is uh, what is the image formed by a concave mirror and uh, what is the image formed by another concave mirror describe the image formed by a convex mirror then they are asking if two uses of convex mirror the answers are written at the top of the list uh, the object is very close to the mirror now b question the image formed by another concave mirror is real inverted so the object is long away from the mirror that's why the uh, image is real and inverted question number c is describe the image formed by a convex mirror the image formed by a convex mirror is virtual upright and smaller than the object question number d is what are the uses of concave mirror uh, um, they are used in staircase mirror and double decker pass question number e is what are the uses of con concave mirror they are used in headlights and reflecting telescopes work hard stay kind play nice keep practicing you have to learn these answers and all the diagrams very well because final assessment is starting thanks for watching